Hey guys, what's up? Yesterday, I got a crash course in lasers. I learned a lot. I still have a lot to learn, but uh, I took a lot of information in, and we shot a lot of video yesterday with uh, Dan Goldsmith at X-Laser. I did a science experiment last night that I wanted to share with you. I thought you guys would like it. I need to set it up for you. First of all, when you're dealing with green lasers, there are two kinds of harmful light that you need to worry about. Number one would be UV or ultraviolet. That's the light that comes from the sun and gives you a suntan. And then there's infrared. Now, when it comes to ultraviolet and green lasers, there's a very minute amount of ultraviolet light involved, but there's a lot of infrared. So with that in mind, uh, enjoy my science experiment. All right, I've got my red safety glasses on that filter out green laser light. Now remember, if I were working with red lasers, I'd have a different set of glasses on. Uh, but uh, we're going to do a science experiment today, and kids, please don't try this at home. Never take the covers off of your lasers. It's not safe, and uh, if you have an FDA-approved laser, it will void your warranty, typically. But uh, I want to talk about some of the harmful light that can come out of a laser diode. On a green laser, you get quite a bit of infrared, and uh, there are certain safety precautions that you can take to filter out a lot of this infrared. So let me introduce you to a few pieces here. Right here, we have a laser power meter. This measures the milliwatts in UV, or period, I guess, the milliwatts that come out of a laser. And uh, it measures the UV, it measures the infrared, it measures the whole, the whole thing. It'll tell you exactly how many milliwatts your laser is outputting. There's something else I want to show you today, and that is one of these little guys. This is an IR filter, otherwise known as a hot mirror. This filters out 100% of infrared light. Now, let's take this little hot mirror, put it in front of this green laser, and see how bright it really is in milliwatts. Okay, kids, here's the hot mirror. As you can see, it's completely transparent. Now, the reason I'm going to take this uh, video from this perspective is I want you to notice how bright this light is visually. I'm going to put the hot mirror right in front of the laser beam and the intensity of the brightness, visual brightness, does not change at all. Let's take a reading with the hot mirror in front of the laser. Simply put the hot mirror right here. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. And our reading is 10.6 milliwatts. Okay, 10.6, remember that number. Now we're going to take the hot mirror away, and let's get another reading. Wait for this to clear off. All right, here we go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. We have 44.7 milliwatts. So 44.7 minus 10 something or other, at any rate, we're looking at over, what, 34 milliwatts of harmful infrared that is coming out of this illegal Chinese laser. Now the only thing I'm going to tell you about this laser is that uh, it's not an X laser and it is indeed FDA approved. Once again let's take the hot mirror and put it in front of this green laser. And give me a second to uh, get adjusted here. All right. Take our meter, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and we have a reading of 59.1 milliwatts. Wow. Now let's take the hot mirror away. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and we have a reading of 150.7 milliwatts. Whoa! Now please don't try any of these experiments at home. I did it with the guidance of Dan standing right next to me. I had my glasses on. Please don't try this at home. But uh, I just wanted to show you how much ultraviolet light can come through a green laser without the proper setup. Now who does the proper setup? X-Laser for one because they include those hot mirrors with all of their lasers. So uh, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, leave a comment. If you have any questions, as always, ask. Lots of videos to come on this, so practice and enjoy.